What happens if an astronaut is lost in space? It's an horrific thought and one that haunts many people including astronauts themselves. But what would happen if someone got lost in space? This question has inspired huge movies as well as speculation as to what would happen in the real world if an astronaut was jettisoned by mistake. Thankfully, this has never happened, so we're left to speculate, but what would happen if an astronaut had an indefinite spacewalk? That's what we're going to look at today. Before we look at this, a quick reminder to give this video a thumbs up if you're enjoying it, and also to subscribe to Brain Impact for more videos just like this one. There are two scenarios here. One, where you have a spacesuit, and one where you don't. One is a lot prettier in the short term than the other. Let's assume you have a spacesuit on for now. Astronauts can carry out spacewalks fairly frequently and have tethers and additional anchors to stop them floating away. Even if this were to happen, then NASA has a backup. They have an emergency jetpack called SAFER, which would stabilize the astronaut initially. Then, NASA's plan is for the floating party to control with manual controls and fly back to safety on their ship. There is only three pounds of fuel on the jetpack, so you need to be quick. And this is all assuming that the ship, and in particular, the airlock, isn't damaged significantly. If you don't make it, then there's no protocol for what happens next. There's a chance that with an unfortunate angle and trajectory, then you'd end up hurtling towards Earth and burn up in the atmosphere. Assuming that you're near Earth when you get cut loose, then your fate would be to float around the planet using up the last of the water in your suit. You'd have a liter, but unfortunately only seven and a half hours of breathable air. So your last hours would be to float and enjoy the view before suffocating. In the second scenario, you get tossed out of your ship without a spacesuit, and you definitely wouldn't have seven and a half hours before you met your end. The good news is that you wouldn't explode. The bad news is that the nitrogen present in your bloodstream near the surface of your skin will collect itself into little bubbles and expand. This would puff you out to around twice your size, making you look like a balloon animal. This is called ebolism, and it's not pretty. The good or bad news at this point, depending on your perspective, is that you'd already be dead by then. This is because of a lack of oxygen in space. Your circulatory system is going to be working and expecting to pick up O2 on your blood's journey around the body, but the problem is it won't be getting any. This is significant for your brain first, and you'll lose consciousness in 15 seconds in an attempt to preserve the oxygen it has left. But without any kind of rescue, the brain as well as all your vital organs will shut down. If you've gone beyond two minutes, then you'd be classified as dead. Holding your breath would be a bad idea as well. In a vacuum, this would only cause your lungs to rupture, so best to avoid this. You'd also experience extreme temperatures without a spacesuit regulating you. On Earth, we have our atmosphere insulating us to prevent us getting too cold. In space, this doesn't exist, so eventually you would freeze, but not before your body ran out of oxygen. This is on top of the massive amount of radiation that you'd be receiving from the sun in an unfiltered vacuum, which would be giving you pretty horrific sunburn at the same time as being frozen. In both of these scenarios, you would die from the same thing, lack of oxygen. It's just that one would happen faster than the other. In both cases, your ultimate fate would be to float through space as an icicle, a slave to whichever gravitational path you started off with when you were cut loose. So this is what would happen if an astronaut was lost in space. What do you think about the prospect of this scenario? Would it put you off a spacewalk? Let us know in the comments and please like this video if you've enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos like this one, then subscribe to Brain Impact for more. Thanks for watching.